Here's a quick update on the gazebo. So what happened is snow lands on that south facing roof. The sun hits it. It drips down to the ground. But the sun can't hit the ground because the house is in the way. Because the sun drops in the winter too low to hit that snow to melt it. So the what basically the water comes down, turns into ice. I get an ice rink here, and I get an ice rink over there because that roof is not into the grass. Um, but the gutter, there's not enough fascia to attach the gutter to. That is not the fascia. There's a little itty bitty fascia here. My original intent was to slope it down this way and then back here, discharge the water, keep the ugly downspout out of the way. Intent was to dog leg that over, which I will either do or I found a better idea because this side over here ended up holding water. And instead of an ugly downspout here, I found a rain chain. It's pretty cool. And what I'll do is uh, I'll get a, a pot, flower pot, fill it full of rock. I'll bury that last piece in the... Uh, bury this piece right here into the rock so it'll hold it from blowing around but it really does work out pretty well I got some footage of that and I'll show that in a second here starting to winterize I gotta get these colored paper deals down I'm surprised they lasted as many years as they they did in case you're interested in my prior video with the um, automatic um, you know tilt TV tilt there it is you see how the bands there come down there's the remote sensor for it, so you hit the remote into that, and the TV swings down. So I got the TV inside now. So winter's on its way. I started re-framing uh, my my patio here. I put this back in probably 1999, 2000. So I got about 20 years out of the old wood. It goes all the way around. It goes out the fence to the front, but you can see here some of the old wood here. Um, some of the old stuff was so bad it was just falling apart you go up and kick it and it would fall over so little update on the patio and the gazebo thanks for watching